Welcome back to another Dustless Blasting Academy video. I'm here with Mike Sherwood, our tech guy extraordinaire. And Mike, what are we going to learn about today? Are these uh, lightsaber handles? Uh, not, not exactly. Uh, sandblast nozzles. There's tons of different nozzles on the market. Um, don't let it confuse you though. Well, I've got a few examples from the ones off of our website on the online store. The most popular nozzles, the one that's going to come with the equipment will be these SLV nozzles. Uh, the sizes on these things is really the most important about selecting what nozzle to use. Uh, it's really dependent on what size air compressor you have. And if you're uncertain on how to size it, there's nozzle air consumption charts. And we'll probably paste one up here on the video. But the number five, these numbers, they represent sixteenths of an inch. The number five would be a five sixteenths. But if you look at that consumption chart, in order to run at a max uh, pressure, like say to get 100 PSI with a number five, you need a certain amount of air volume. That'd be your compressor. So it's just very important to, to you know, make note of what size compressor you have before you even start selecting a nozzle especially nozzles, what they're doing, they're just changing the shape of the blast pattern, basically. So let's say this is the nozzle, and it's a pretty rough drawing, but on the inside of the SLVs, the way they're shaped, it kind of tapers in. That's the restriction or the, the size of the nozzle right there at the smallest port. The SLVs actually open up the, the blast patterns where you have, you know, very wide spray. It's kind of like a, like a shotgun, basically. It's taking it in, tapering it down running it through this orifice and then it's spreading it out. The whole blast pattern is pretty large, but the actual hot spot, you know, all your braces kind of concentrated here in the center. The SLV nozzles are gonna kind of spread that out a bit. Uh, what these other specialty type nozzles are doing, the little ST nozzle, it's the same orifice size as the SLV, but it's just a different shape. So on the inside of this ST nozzle, instead of it uh, being a Venturi shape, it's just a straight board nozzle. Uh, it's really different than a rifle and a shotgun, basically. Uh, SLVs tend to be the shotgun nozzle. Your ST nozzle will be more of the precision, you know, pinpoint or close quarters blasting. They work perfect for like wrought iron fences, uh, because if you can imagine this large blast pattern area, if you got some small, you know, members on a wrought iron fence, you're gonna miss a lot hitting these little, you know, half inch by half inch square tubing. So these ST nozzles come in really handy for that. There's also fan tip nozzles. We, these are pretty popular. It's gonna spread that blast pattern out to, a, to kind of like a, a rectangle shape. And what that does, you have most, most concentration is gonna be around the edges. They're perfect for brush blasting, uh, knocking loose paint flakes off to go back to repaint. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of impact if you were trying to get down to white metal really quick, you know, on a large piece of steel, you're not gonna have quite the impact out of these that you would have an SLV nozzle. And we got these HV, I'm not sure if we have them on the website, if not we'll put them up there, but what this does on its way out, it pulls the air in from, from ambient atmosphere, it pulls ambient air in and it gives that, that abrasive little kick right there at the nozzle. Uh, great for like soda or something like that that you can't really run at a really high pressure because that soda is going to start breaking down before it even comes out of the nozzle. We have XL performance nozzles. You, know, you can only get so much out of the air compressor, so much out of the abrasive. So if you need a little more impact, you can switch over to an XL performance nozzle and it speeds the velocity up at the nozzle. You're not going to notice it so much doing things like cars or small stuff. Uh, you will notice it if you have a large parking lot you know, or a lot of uh, square foot of surface area. Uh, you're going to dramatically increase your production if you switched over to an XL nozzle on large jobs. Uh, they are going to be more expensive and there's just a lot more tungsten carbide on the inside of these. So that's really what you're paying for is that expensive liner. Speaking of, of which, I know tungsten is really hard. How long is it going to take uh, until you wear out a nozzle? I don't think I've ever sold a replacement nozzle to a, a guy that uses the system wet all the time. Uh, just water eliminates all the friction on the inside, so there's very little wear. Uh, using the system dry, uh, you know, you can expect if you always ran dry, about two to three months. So if you have a number five nozzle, uh, a, five, a 5 16 drill bit should be able to fit in there. If a 3 8 fits through there, then you now have opened up the nozzle to a number six. So doesn't, doesn't seem like it's a whole lot of difference, just a 16th of an inch increment, but uh, the, the air consumption that's needed, you know, the air volume needed to, to feed that nozzle is gonna be dramatically increased. So you wanna make sure that, you know, you, you still have a, your nozzles in good shape and using drill bits is really the easiest way to do it. You'll see a lot of different shapes, like banana shaped, uh, angled nozzles, things like that. And what those are really designed for is not so much in this industrial or residential like commercial market as it was in the uh, manufacturing side of things. Uh, blasting the ID of pipe, 
You know, you want a nozzle that's on an angle so you can just push your blast hose through that inside of the pipe and it'll be able to get the, the ID. Um, you guys, we probably don't run into that too much. The DB500s uh, with that 185 compressor, the smallest you want to go is a number five nozzle. And that's just because the way the pots work, they create suction in the bottom of the, the cone. If you put a number four, or number three nozzle, it's just not gonna work right. You're not gonna run enough volume over that, you know, the uh, inlet nozzle to create the suction to pull the abrasive out. So you wanna make sure you don't get too small of a nozzle. And if you're looking for, uh, you know, you wanna get a smaller nozzle and your idea is to have a smaller blast pattern, that's when you would switch to an ST nozzle as opposed to trying to get a number three or number four. Well, hey, thanks for watching. I think we learned a lot, Mike. Thanks a lot. Great. Yeah, if you guys have any other questions, something I didn't go over, if it was unclear, you know, feel free to shoot me an email or give me a phone call and uh, I can explain it in a little better detail.